Tomorrow will mark uh, one year since I took office. It's been a year of challenges, but it's also been a year of enormous progress. We went from 2 million people being vaccinated at the moment I was sworn in to 210 million Americans being fully vaccinated today. We created 6 million new jobs, more jobs in one year than any time before. Unemployment dropped. The unemployment rate dropped to 3.9 percent. Child poverty dropped by nearly 40 percent, the biggest drop ever in American history. New business applications grew by 30 percent, the biggest increase ever. And for the first time in a long time, this country's working people actually got a raise, actually got a raise. People, the, four, the bottom 40 percent, saw their income go up the most of all those that got a raise. We cut health insurance premiums for millions of American families, and we just made surprise medical bills illegal in this country. You know those bills you get that you don't expect to turn two to five thousand dollars from the hospital beyond what you thought you were going to have to owe because of the consultation you weren't told was going to cost that much? No more. They're now illegal. Thanks to the American Rescue Plan and other actions we've taken. We've seen record job creation, record economic growth in the past year. Now, thanks to the bipartisan infrastructure bill, we're about to make a record investment in rebuilding America to take us to be the number one best infrastructure in the world. Well, now we're way below that. We'll be creating better jobs for millions of people, modernizing our roads, our bridges, our highways, our ports, our airports, everything from making clean water Lead, removing lead pipes that every American turn on, every American can turn on a faucet and drink clean water, urban and rural and suburban communities. It's going to make affordable high-speed internet available to every American in urban, rural, and suburban areas. We've never done that before. Now we are. We're in the process of getting that done. Still, for all this progress, I know there's a lot of frustration and fatigue in this country, and we know why. COVID-19, Omicron has, has, has now been challenging us in a way that uh, it's the new enemy. But while it's cause of con for concern, it's not cause for panic. We've been doing everything we can, learning and adapting as fast as we can, and preparing for a future beyond the pandemic. Thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune into our 24 7 live stream for global news coverage, interviews, deep dives, shows, and documentaries on the stories you care about most.